We are here in New York City with an American hero, the great Meb Kovleski, also the Boston Marathon champion. You're a New York City Marathon champion as well, but what a great victory, Meb. Tell me, how does it feel to be a winner in Boston? It was an incredible day just because of what happened last year, and not only just one for myself, but one for the United States, and for Boston, and for the world. It was just an epic moment, uh, and you know everybody's eyes was on it, and for me it was there because I, I've been 365 days a year for, since the bombing. I've been thinking about how can I be tribute, how can I pay tribute, and what a magnificent way to do it, and be able to change what was the bombing on Boston Street to chanting USA, USA, just incredible day. And when you heard those chants, I mean, I heard them. I was getting a chill. My whole family was getting a chill, really the whole country. Um, what did that feel like at the end to hear those people saying USA, USA, knowing that this was much more than just running? You know, I was, uh, had my, the victim's na name on my bed. So it was a very emotional day. And to have them carry me through spiritually was huge. But to have the crowd throughout the course, and especially at the end, it was just incredible. If it was any other race without that crowd, I probably would have been defeated and lost the race. But they helped me get to that finish line, Boston Strong. Absolutely, Boston Strong. You got a call from the president afterwards, President Barack Obama. Also, David Ortiz said hello. I mean, tell me about what it's been like for you ever since winning. Ever since winning the Boston Marathon, my life has changed for greater. And I get a call from the president to meet David uh, uh, Ortiz and then meet Jeter. And uh, at the same time, I'm doing the first pitch of the, of the game between the Red Sox and the Yankees. Can't get any better. And I've just been very fortunate uh, to God for allowing me to have that opportunity to have a come across as first place because it wouldn't have been any, any other year that I have done that. It could have been, okay, I won. But at the same time, at this epic moment and meaningful moment for all of us, I came through. And I remember we were talking three years ago before the New York City Marathon, and you said the older you get, the better you get at running. And I was like, is this true? I'd like to believe it's true. You proved it's true. So tell me how this is inspiring people that it's never too late in life. You know, sports is great. And as a distance runner, so we don't mature right away. We mature as it goes on. And uh, for me to be 39 soon in about eight days, it's just an amazing example to say, hey, don't give up on your dream. Keep pursuing it and get the best out of yourself. And, yeah, I mean, to win it at, the, at 38, 38, almost 39, is just uh, reinforcing to say well, we get better with age and uh, just like wine. Absolutely. That's no question about it. Now, the Olympics are coming up in 2016. Rio, it's going to be great. Uh, what's next for Meb Kovleski? What do you see down the road? You know, I'm so excited and trying to severe this moment to, you know, to win the Boston Marathon, which has been my goal for a very long time. I felt that Monday, uh, April 21st, 2014, my career has been finally fulfilled. But it's not to say that I can't achieve other goals and the, the rest is frosting on the cake. You know, hopefully I would like to do New York and then maybe to go try to defend the title in Boston. And then obviously 2016 is right around the corner for see if I can make my fourth Olympic team at 41. That's the, the challenge that I have. Absolutely. Now, Howie's been such a good inspiration. Your brother, you know, has been a big part of the team. You guys, what did it feel like when you crossed the finish line and you were there with him and just, you know, you saw your wife and everyone in Boston? Oh, when I crossed the Boston Marathon, you know, my wife came and gave me a big hug. Howie was there, my brother and manager, who's been through me through the gut and the bad, and we've been working for nine years. My coach, Bob Larson, who've been working together. as a, He's a my mentor now. We've been working for 20 years, and it's just an incredible time. And, you know, everybody was just saying thank you, thank you. But everybody also from the BAA and John Hancock were allowed to give me a hug to others and just how it just helped us maybe speed up the healing process a little bit and uh, everybody all they could say is thank you thank you and I feel blessed to have that opportunity to present all the United States. Well Matt Kowalski congratulations we're really proud of you. Thank you very much. You heard it from the hero a great American hero Meb Kowalski I'm Harry Chickma New York City and that's it for now.